Hello beautiful people, and to everybody who guessed correctly on my Instagram, yes, we're going to see the interrupters at the Barrowland. So, being prompt to, um, been into them for a little bit, but um, I've never heard like much of this stuff, but I recognise the name for um, a while. So, this is going to be an interesting one. So, we're just going to get straight up there, and um, we'll just see what happens when we get up there anyway. So, let's go. And here we are outside the famous Barrowland Ballroom, and tonight, we're not going to bowl with filler footage. We're just going to get straight in. And let's get to the gig. He was a hell of a drinker, not much of a boyfriend. In between jobs, man, it was kind of a trend. She was easy on the eye. So hard on the line She had a bounce back You shouldn't run from the start She was something like a lot Lazy people didn't let the chance pass In a heartbeat that felt like an age You'd have a courage to ask It's a million heartbeats later The side of the side side club She doesn't know what she likes she says it must be bad. He breaks himself up on the mirror and tells him to tell down again. You will die in order. He said, I don't know what you want.
So just going to do the review here, it'll just save me when I get in and stuff a little bit easier. But what can I say? What a night. Interrupters didn't disappoint. It was so, so good. Uh, quite on point. And what I loved as well is, again, the crowd was very mixed as in, like, it was a good ratio of the younger folk. Slightly more on the older side, but again, if um, anybody was more on the mature side than was there tonight and see this video, you guys are fucking awesome. Keep it up. We love you guys coming to the gigs and still been able to stand toe to toe with all us young folks. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. But let's just get on to it. Now, the reason why it was a little bit more mixed is because it had that ska punk vibe of madness and um, all those other bands, like, especially No Doubt, actually, who were, di who were directly inspired by madness and uh, rubbed off on these guys' interrupters tonight as well. And uh, let's uh, get on the support acts as well because they were pretty good in their own unique way. But um, we're just going to um, get on with it. The first uh, support band, I think they were called Barstool Preachers, I think. They're pretty good. Cockney, which I love because it's my accent. And then, um, yeah, they were really, really good. Uh, love their punk aesthetic, which, again, will always be up my street. First love, always. So that was good. Then we had the second band, The Skints. Hmm... They were okay for what they were, however, the reggae sort of fusion like that, the sort of stoner vibe kind of made it feel like you had to like inhale like, a whole bunch of weed to um, able to enjoy that. And it even worse when I started yawning halfway through the set, I was like, oh god, really? But they were okay for what they were. Then the main event, Interrupters didn't disappoint at all. Love their sort of like pop punk side as well, which was a bit like a Green Day. Hence why I think I heard I first heard this band through Green Day. They were supporting them and they were supporting them on the Hella Mega Tour last year, which was really good. So um yeah, just wanted to check them out. I don't know if I'll be seeing them again in the next few months, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Because I think they were meant to be supporting the Dropkick Murphys, but we'll just have to wait and see of that. Um if that even becomes a thing. But yeah. But overall, that was great. Great atmosphere and everybody like in the pits as well. Nobody was out being a dick. Everybody was having a great time and that. However, something I did see on the left hand, when I was at the left hand side of the stage, excuse my hand there, um, in front of me, I saw a couple, well, more like this guy arguing with his partner, looked like a bit of a domestic. And let's just say it didn't leave a good taste in my mouth. Seriously, if you're not happy with yourself, you're not happy with the person you are with, I'm only going to say this once, Get out of that relationship as quick as you can. So much so that Amy wrote a song that was played tonight that was about an abusive relationship. So still, bang goes the point. Please, I'm not going to ramble on about it. I just, uh, please, if you don't love yourself, you can't be with someone else. That's just the way it is. But that was that. Now, if I'm right, the next gig we'll be going to will be Polaris at the garage, which I'm right will be the 19th of September. So good couple of weeks. But until then, I'll see you guys later.